Tom here from Stealthy Go and uh, Verizoom, and uh, uh, here to talk about the different models that we have here of the Stealthies. Uh, people want to know the differences. Uh, try to clear that up best we can on the website, but uh, I'm going to give you a quick run through. This is the original Stealthy. Uh, this is all aluminum, stainless steel, uh, as a gimbal stabilizer, uh, XY axis on top for getting your camera. Uh, balanced for uh, stabilization. The Stealthy Pro is the one we came out that followed this. Uh, both are great devices. This one costs a little more and there's a reason for that. Uh, it has a precision uh, gimbaled handle. Uh, both have gimbals but this one's got a uh, six bearing in here where the other one only has a couple. This is about 349. This one's about 249 and uh, then uh, we get to the Stealthy Go, which is our newest one and the one I'm most excited about. The Stealthy Go is made from uh, composite. Uh, it only cost about a hundred bucks. It is waterproof, where the other ones are not waterproof. Now this one doesn't have the precision gimbal or it doesn't have really a gimbal at all. And you get nice smooth shot. The cameras are quite forgiving because they have a wide angle on these point and shoots and the GoPros are ultra wide angle. You don't really need a gimbal. It's just really not that practical on these and I don't like it. To be honest, even on if I put a GoPro on, on a gimbal support, I'd lock it in and I wouldn't even bother using it on that small of a camera. Now all of these devices can hang from your hip. They come with this belt hook and that's just like that. Walk around when you need it. It's right there and it's ready. You don't have to dig it out of a pouch. Turn your camera back to its point in the way you want to point it. And now you've got a very, very uh, ergonomic way to hold your camera. So many people are, are using their cameras like this, struggling. I see it all the time. I've done it myself. The video is horrible. I never want to use it but you know, we try. Now, just like that, you're gonna get much, much better video, stable and smooth. Uh, and in this same mode, I can set it down and this is what we call table rest mode. And uh, so I don't have to take it apart like so many other devices you have to. I just set this down and uh, you know, I can have my lunch or whatever I'm doing. Uh, we actually see people, they'll turn it up there if they have their phone on there and they're actually surfing the web. Now let's go to the monopod. Now you flip that down on all the stealthies and now I've got a, an adjustable monopod, a short monopod. Now you don't even want it to be a long monopod in a lot of situations because uh, if I'm sitting in uh, the bleachers and getting video and it's going to be very smooth because I've got it planted into the top of my leg uh, while I'm shooting or snapping shots. You've got monopod stabilizer mode. You can always bring the handle out if you want to use it this way. Uh, and then of course you can bring it in and this is important is this is part of uh, the operation is there's this little knurled screw and what that does is it locks in and that's how you lock it into position. Now in this same configuration for monopod mode I can take this and I can turn the camera back to me and you can see I can uh, use it as like a uh, stealthy go pole or selfie mode we call it. Uh, now I can also turn it back and face it in the direction that maybe I'm skiing down or shoot off to the right or left if that's what I want to do. And you saw how fast I can go to these different modes. So it makes it very convenient. I don't have to take it off and put it on a pole. I don't have to take it off and put it on a monopod. I don't have to take it off and put it on uh, a high hat or a low hat. If I, want, if I want to go to a long monopod mode, if I want to hold this up at about six feet or six and a half feet, all of these can be utilized with this accessory. This is the uh, long monopod. You can hang it on the same hook and then when you need it, just stick it in to the bottom of the uh, your Stealthy and you can go up to about six and a half feet. The next mode I'm going to show you is uh, tripod mode. So just like that, I've gone from the monopod mode to tripod mode. Now for a tabletop tripod, I'm telling you, I see people struggling at schools and events that I go to trying to hold their camera right or, or trying to balance it against a book or whatever. And you know, with this, I set it down. I can I can tilt, and I can pan. I can put it where I want it, and just monitor it hands free. Uh, in this same mode, uh, I'll. This is what we call a three-point shooter. Now we've got three-point shooter mode here. So I'm holding it in three points. It's very stable. Nice shots, nice video. If I have a uh, like a palm quarter or something with a viewfinder that I want to use, I can shorten this 
and get my eye right you know, into that eye cup. Or again, I can pull it out and I can use the flip out screen and it's just a wonderful tool. Tripod mode and the uh, three point shooter mode are one and the same. Also people use this as a hi-hat. Our time lapse guys will point it up at the sky sometimes. Skaters, they'll, they'll get this under a ramp or, or, or a rail. It has a lanyard so that if you are, uh, you know, jumping or bungee jumping or that sort of thing, you can, uh, you know, obviously keep it attached to you so that you don't lose it. A popular one is uh, low mode, where they use the longer stick or use it like this. Skaters will use it in this mode and they get so low to the ground that they can actually look up under and you can see the artwork under the, under the skateboard. This is the one that I, I, I definitely take to travel with me all the time. That's it, uh, you can go to stealthygo.com or verizoom.com and uh, if you need anything, there are our phone numbers there. You can call us up and uh, we're happy to help. Thank you.